the Maryland Terrapins. And my good sir, Mike Loxley, is rebuilding the talent there, but it it's not quite to that point just yet. Like they, it's all young talent. Like last year was this was such an inconsistent team. They were all over the board. They lost to Northwestern by 40 in the first game. They squeaked out a win over Minnesota and then blew out Penn State in the third game of the year. And then they dropped their last two games. They are as unpredictable as ever. The roster talent being upgraded. It's not experienced yet. It's not fully there yet. But, they, I mean, they are doing big-time things there. Baby Tua, Talia Tongavaloa, he showed flashes last year at quarterback, I think. Offense, they've got enough explosion to go off for 40 on basically any given night. But, again, incredibly inconsistent. Defense coordinator Brian Stewart has come back. He was the, the leader, the guy that commanded those defenses uh, in three of the best four years of Maryland's decade, like this past 10, 12 years, whatever it is. There's talent on defense, like especially in the secondary. They only had four takeaways last year, so I think you could kind of look for that to improve this year. But, you know, they went two and three last year in five games. They had four takeaways. I think, you know, that's all right. I think we'll get more this year. The win total is at six. And to go over is minus 110. To go under is minus 120. And while I do like Mike Loxley, I do like what they're trying to do there, I look at this schedule, and and I see in the non-con, West Virginia, and I see Kent State. Like I think they'll get the win over Howard. But Iowa, at Ohio State, at Minnesota, Indiana and Penn State come there. Michigan comes there. they got to play at Rutgers. I don't see six. I can't get there. Just mentally, I cannot find six wins for them. i got to go under the six at the minus 120. Yeah, I'm under as well. I don't think this defense is going to be any good. The offense could be great one week, but the very next week could be terrible. They, they could get blanked. Yeah. I mean, this is a team that you said they could put up 40 any night, and then they could get shut out of the end zone the entire night as well. Yes, 100%. But, but I'll tell you this. Either game, they're giving up 40. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.